take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Soldiers assigned to Fort Hood can expect to have one of the highest quality of life standards in the Army. New housing, quality medical care, thriving communities, recreation and schools combine to ensure that Fort Hood is the great place. Make your mark, take our lead. 28 deaths. Three of the NCOs said they've witnessed young soldiers in crisis who were ignored by their commanding officers and later attempted suicide. Since January, there have been 28 deaths at Fort Hood, including five homicides and eight suicides. Take our lead. Fort Hood, TX, update. Fort Hood officials have closed the post on February 11, 2021, due to inclement weather meaning Fort Hood will be closed for the remainder of the day. Only mission essential personnel should report for duty. Let's help you make your mark. 12 Fort Hood soldiers. Since the beginning of the year, there have been 12 Fort Hood soldiers who have vanished, died, or, in one case, turned up dead after going missing last year. Two more who had separated from the army at the base within the previous six months were also slain, according to Stars and Stripes. Take our lead. Since then, Vanessa's family and their attorney Natalie Kawam have tried to shine a spotlight on a string of deaths at the Central Texas installation. In 2020 alone, 31 soldiers connected to Fort Hood died, including 11 reported as suicides and 5 as homicides. Let's help you make your mark. So far this year, nearly 30 service members connected to Fort Hood have died, including by homicide, suicide, accident and illness. Some of the deaths are still undetermined. Army leadership has admitted that Fort Hood has the worst rate of violent crime and incidents among its U.S. installations. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.